Oh my god. I just realized something about YouTube that the reason, what it is doing, this is what's happening as a result of me opening up on YouTube and everybody opening up on YouTube whenever you do it. What's happening is we are learning how to deal with anger by our responses. And the more people we have, the more anger we get, the more we have to deal with it. But that's what it is. That's where the growth comes from, is that we're learning it. I just had a comment on my newest, or one of my new videos, uh, a response to, to uh, John Reagan's video, the good, tu good YouTuber, bad U YouTuber. And it's uh, Alimo, A-L-A-I-M-O. They said, send him, an email, send him an email next time. We don't need to watch this. And in parentheses, it says Z, 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 like snore. Okay, I get it. It's boring. My response is, no one needs to watch it. What you're implying is that you don't want to watch it. But the reason for that is not in the video or me or John. It's within your own mind. Is it because it's uncomfortable to watch someone open up to someone that you don't know? That they don't know? And that was my natural response to it. It wasn't anger. It wasn't, no, dude, I don't want to send an email. It wasn't ignoring it. It wasn't shut up. It wasn't anything angry. I'm learning how to deal with anger. I've been noticing it in my daily life with my friends. I've just been realizing like moments when someone will say something when I want to get angry. My response is to get angry and I won't. I won't let it happen. I, I acknowledge this, that it and I don't, I don't not let it happen by keeping it in. I won't, I, I still respond but I don't respond out of anger. Because you can keep it in. And, and then you're doing severe damage to your psyche because you're not expressing your feelings. You can't do that, you have to let it out. But the, the key is to turn anger into something else. Because you have to remember it's not about you, what they say. Wow. So this, putting this out into the world, into the consciousness, um, and then getting back like a lot of anger. I'm, I really, you, can't, you can't respond to anger with anger. You just can't. You can't live life like that. You can't do it. You just live a, this vicious cycle of fear and anger that you, we were all born into. And we have to kind of fucking figure out how to get out of it. And I think this is like an interesting way of learning how to deal with it. Because you just have to deal with it. That's life, is you have to deal with it. That is fucking cool. All right, I'll see you guys. I posted a fuckload of videos tonight. I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. Ever since I posted that video about not reading text comments, it's been on my mind a lot. And uh, I'm sorry that in my video I said it so definitely that I won't do that anymore. When I make a decision a lot of times, like a new decision, I will completely give over to it for the moment and see what it's like to experience that. You know, I can't like think about not reading my text comments. I have to actually decide I won't do it, stop doing it, and then see what it's like. And I don't like it. And I, and I haven't stopped reading my text comments. I just said it in the video. Because I'd like to get away from text. I'd like to get more back into the video aspect of this and, and focus and, and, and push for the video aspect of it. But what I'm going to do, I was talking to my buddy Terry, who's, you you all may know, I, I mean, he's my, been my buddy for like three days, but it's, uh, Zipster08 is his account. And uh, he's just fucking brilliant. He's, he's amazing. He's incredibly talented and funny, and he's a uh, lead singer of a band. I think it's amazing stuff. Um, he had done something with his videos where he did a shout-out to people, like talking about the people that, uh, you know, comment and watch and listen and respond. So I'm going to do that, too, because it's something I haven't done. I, I, I get so lost in me. And it's not about... Anything other than acknowledging the fact that I'm not doing this by myself. This isn't this isn't me on me on YouTube. Ian making a splash. It's not. It's never like that for anyone. This is about the communication between two people at any given moment. And every single person that leaves a comment and every single person that makes a video is just as much part of the equation as I am. And and I will not lose track of that ever. So I'm gonna, I, I, you know, I, I got all these names of people floating around in my mind, but the thing is they're all screen names. 
and it's all text, so there's no association. But like Eric, I know Gina, Terry, Warren, Echo. You just I, you, you, the more you make the videos, the more we all get to know each other, and then all of a sudden it's like we're all fucking friends, all of us. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And and I and I've realized the more you open up the more you push yourself, the more that people are interested in getting to know you because the more comfortable they feel. And it's not that what you believe is wrong because no, nothing's wrong. There's no wrong. What we believe is what we believe. It's about the comfort that we have letting it out and expressing it. And, and the more comfortable you, you make yourself, and it's just like a train, you have to train, it's training. No one's comfortable doing it. But the more you train yourself to do it and the more you push yourself to do it, the, the more comfortable you get. It's, it's permanent, you know, it doesn't go away. It's like riding a bike. Thank you for responding to me. You. <laughs>